And what's the story behind this awesome artwork over here? And there's some more over here. These are oh, super cool. That's my mentality. I believe that we have a monster inside. I try to tell all my clients that my monster, it's everywhere. Wherever you go, my monster is gonna be with you. <laughs> right on, thank yeah, you. Yeah. So this year I have not been incredibly active as you can imagine. So, uh, you know, even though it is a major chore for me today, I'm gonna drag myself to the personal trainer. Florida style. Personal trainer. The deeper I go, the worse it gets. All right, so I just came across Monster Cast Fitness. They uh, seem to have received quite a few one-star reviews in the past. Wish I could get my time back from this establishment. First off, dishes are washed in the bathroom sink. He'll show up 10 to 15 minutes late for your session, but still stop as soon as the hour is up. I highly suggest giving your money to someone who cares more about your goals and health rather than his hair. Oh, and his does his dishes in the sink. Ew. Cool, I'll wait for Mike. He seems to be, got something going on back there. Nice. Gabrielle is the worst trainer to do business with in Miami, Florida. His personal comments towards clients and ego get in the way of any goal one has. Spend your money wisely. His dishes are done in the bathroom sink, inches away from the toilet. And I've trained with a grandmaster in the past. His name was Master Jerry, and uh, you know, he put me onto this philosophy that you have to clean the bathroom in order to get rid of the dirt. You can't clean the bathroom without getting rid of the door. This door, move yourself from the door. Yes! Never has Master Jerry's advice rung more true. During my time here in Miami, it was clear just how seriously people take their physiques. I wanted to fit in, and this was the beginning of my physical transformation. Maybe soon I too could be the kind of guy to work out on Muscle Beach. Hopefully Monster Cast would help me with that and I could help them with their one star reviews. Hey, how are you? Welcome Hi, to Monster Cast. I'm Taji. I'm Gabriel, nice to Very meet nice you. Very nice to meet you. Welcome to my private fitness club. My fitness journey was about to begin, and to get started, Gabrielle took me for a quick consultation and a special pre-workout talk. When was the last time you visited a gym? So, I've actually trained before in the past with a grandmaster, and since then, you know, I've even like at one point like accessed my beast mode. To be honest with you, it has been a while. I couldn't tell you, maybe like a year. It's been, I think, you know, a pretty rough year for everyone when it comes to getting fit. Hopefully try to, from you, like, get that extra push. Another thing I've been seeing and kind of striving towards, just like seeing these people, you know, these group of, uh, you know, guys where I'm just like, whoa. How could I maybe one day be on that level, you know, where I'm almost hanging out on the beach and people are walking by and they're just like, you know. Look at him. Right? He's working a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. So tell That's me about awesome. your coffee, if you like oh, it, so you. we can start working out. For sure, thanks so much. Spend your money wisely. His dishes are done in the bathroom sink, inches away from the toilet. This is my secret. Before every training session, I need to have an espresso with milk. It makes my morning better. <laughs> dishes are washed in the bathroom sink. And his does his dishes in the sink. Ew. This is delicious. Thank you so much. It's called the Monster Chino, like a cappuccino, nice. but in a monster, monster style. Right <laughs> As I continued to consume my Monster Chino, Gabrielle took me on a short tour of the gym. And then I noticed some awesome artwork that I wanted to learn the story behind. And what's the story behind this awesome artwork over here? There's some more over here. These are oh, super cool. Th that's my mentality. It's like, I believe that we have a monster inside and we have to learn how to control the monster so you can be happy and, and do the best. 
So for me, it's very special. I try to tell all my clients that my monster, it's everywhere. So whatever you go, my monster is gonna be with you. <laughs> right on, thank yeah, you. Yeah. I so appreciate that. We can start doing uh, the workout. It was time to warm up, and Gabrielle took me through some basic movements to loosen up. Swing those arms and breathe. Shoulder extensions, we're gonna bring the hands behind the head, perfect. One, just like that. And down, breathe through your nose, and breathe out through your mouth. <sighs> Better. And breathe and press, all the way up, 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 up. Excellent job. I hear the elbow, you hear that? Yeah, you got a little crack. Seven, yeah, that's, the crack that is good, good sometimes. So look, one of the uh, things I do, it's I drink a lot of water during the day. Water is super important. I love this cup, but if I don't plan this, then my monster is like, no, don't drink water. Water is not good. Let's drink a soda. And I'm like, no, no, water better. <laughs> All right. So that almost is like an extension of your monster. Yeah. This right here. Yeah, yeah. This right here, it's discipline. Four, five, keep going, six. Seven. I was starting to feel the burn and the presence of the monster that I had no idea existed before today. Then Gabrielle caught me off guard with a question about my diet, and I had to confess. Tell me, what's one of the foods that it's difficult for you to stop eating and you like it a lot, but you know it's bad for you? I would say sometimes late at night eating like an excessive amount of candy. You know, like the Haribo candy? Yeah. You know, like the regular size one? Like, you know, one time recently I even got like the share size with the resealable top. And I ate the, the entire thing. thing. <laughs> okay, so that's one of the things that you need to focus more with the nutrition. Candies are not good for you for so many reasons. Three, two, one, jump. So far, so good. Gabrielle was being great and didn't seem vain or have an ego like the reviews had suggested. Even though I was here to start my fitness journey and slay my monster, the main reason I was here was to get to the bottom of these one-star reviews. And now was the perfect time. How about reviews? I actually Six. checked out a few. The reviews are in. very important. Yeah. I love my clients because they always give me a good bite with the reviews. You'll show up 10 to 15 minutes late for your session, but still stop as soon as the hour is up. You're like, weren't on time once they claimed, and then you know you even like tapped into their lesson and still ended it at the time. Yeah, oh. Like you were late, but then you didn't extend the class. It was kind of like abrupt, I guess. Actually, I always extend the class, you know. Someone wants to put a bad review and they're lying because like, that's what I'm saying, you know, everyone says the truth. Usually the people that come here, they never leave. Keep, keep going, three, two, one. His personal comments towards clients and ego get in the way of any goal one has. In this kind of industry, you need to motivate people and it's difficult because a lot of people, even if you push them, they don't want to be pushed. And I think that's one of the biggest challenge when you want to help somebody, but they don't even want to help themselves. It's a lot of people that they just don't like me. Like maybe it's some competition sometimes, you know? But you're always gonna have some people that have something bad to say about you and your service. So far, do you think it's true what people say about me? I mean, so far my experience, you know, like they were even mentioning there's like a bunch of dirty dishes laying around. <laughs> no, we're not eating dishes. And uh, actually I have a barista that do everything for me. Use the restroom really quickly if that's okay. Yeah, we can go through here. It's at the end of the whole highway. Yeah, it's perfect. I was happy that Gabrielle had addressed the dirty dish allegations, but I couldn't just take his word for it. So I excused myself so I could assess the situation with my very own eyes. His name again? Tashi. 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 To my relief, it was one of the cleanest bathrooms I have ever seen and not one sign of a single dirty dish. And you know what? The most funny part about this problem is that somebody called me the city after this uh, uh, bad review, and the city came here, did an inspection, and guess what? I passed it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, and the inspector showed me the email, and I read everything, and it was with a lot of hate. <laughs> 
this person was a monster and if you don't control your monster and you don't know that you can affect somebody else with a lie that it's not true, then it's something bad. But most of the people, they like to do it. They don't want to work to say, no, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stop and try to do something better, you know? And when you receive these uh, reviews, um, do you ever have to kind of battle with your monster? Is your monster ever saying, you know, like, go off on these people? Uh, no, because I actually laugh. <laughs> what about your monster? What's your monster do? He laugh. <laughs> Do you talk to your monster? All the times. One of the things that my monster want me to do is stop training. <laughs> At what point though did you like, was it like overnight that you, you know, took hold of the monster or was it like a slow process? It was overnight, yeah. I wake up at 3 a.m. and I lost someone that was very special for me. And uh, when he passed away, he thought he was a monster, but the way I saw him, it was like my angel. If you see him, that's my monster. That's why it's a ghost, because he was someone that was very special for me. It was my grandfather. He had two kids, but they were lost because the monster consumed them. And uh, that's when I said, I need to make him proud. He's with you every step of the way. Every step of the way. Get ready. Speak with your monster and, and, and show him who's the boss. Keep breathing, don't give up. The monster wants to stop, but we're not stopping. My vision is that if I help more people to understand their monster, I can help them be happier. I can help the world to be better. Seven, no six, what the monster said. five, four, there you go. Monster mentality, thank three, you, thank you. two, one. Control the monster. <laughs> and we do the last round. And after an amazing session with Gabrielle, I felt right at home in Miami. I enlisted the services of Monster Cast Fitness in hopes of fitting in around Miami with a new body. The reviews had led me to expect Gabriel to carry not just an inflated ego, but a big pile of dishes as well. However, neither showed through. Instead, he went deep and broke down the metaphor of the monster and made me feel comfortable and enthusiastic in a world that could easily feel so intimidating. I could see that his connection to fitness goes far beyond superficialities because he truly believes in it and does not just want it for the perfect beach bod, but also to help others live happier lives. From now on, the monster inside of me has nowhere to hide. I recognize and understand its influence, and Gabriel taught me that it does not define me. In the end, I left with a far more stable head on my shoulders and a set of goals for the perfect body that is not just for the beach, but for my life and my health. I'll just uh, chug this shake and uh, be on my way. Thank you so much, Gabriel. Do you like the chocolate chips? Uh, yeah, I like the crunch you got going That's on. That's the chocolate sure. chips, but you have to control the monster, you know? All righty, yeah, we're gonna wrap this up, thank you.